Welcome guys, I'll show you today how to make uh, stylized grass. So first when you open Blender, click Animate to make this disappear. You go into Scenes, in this to Metric, and change the value to 0 0.01. This is the same as Unreal Engine and Unity. Now we press A, select everything, and then delete Enter. I'll turn on Screencast so you guys can see everything. Now we will press Shift A and add a plane and then press R, then X, and type 90 to rotate on the, on the x-axis. Press 1 on the number pad to go to front view, and then 5 for orthographic view. Now we'll press S and scale on the x-axis by pressing X. So we make this smaller, about here. Now we'll take this up, press Shift, Control, and C, and then origin the 3D cursor. Now press tab and select these two top vertices, press E and Z to extrude on the top and then Alt N and then add center to merge them together. Now we will select this uh, top vertice and move it to one side until it's vertically aligned with one of the sides. Okay, and make sure of course that this actually touches the bottom so zoom in and then shift all control c again once we've done that we'll press tab again i'll just take these two vertices down just about here should do i'll move this out of the way now shift a add a plane we'll make this smaller then i'll go down here press t to make this disappear go into particle system i'll add new and i'll call this grass and for this as well, we'll right click on the plane up here, we'll type grass. Now down here, uh, we'll go to here, instead of emitter, and I'll choose 25. Now if we scroll down, click on object, we can choose our grass, our grass is right here. And make this even smaller if you want to. Yep, this is good. Then we want to add randomness, so we'll go into advanced, we turn on rotation, open this up, we put the random value up a bit, or the phase, yep, and we can just randomize the phase a bit. Once we've done that, we want to go into um, other, other, we'll just randomize this a little bit as well, and then down in our Newtonian, we'll randomize the size each grass strand is different from the other and then I'll just uh, select this and press S and X just to make this slightly smaller this is just fine and now we will save right here so I'll call this grass stylized I'm calling it too because I already have a different file save the same name and when you've done that um, Click on this, go to a modifier tab and convert. After converting this, we'll click on here, press delete and enter. Delete the plane from the bottom and delete this extra grass strand. Now we'll select one of them and then press A twice and then Ctrl J to join them all together. And then Ctrl Shift Alt C to move the origin to the middle. Now we'll go up here, go to file export F fpx and we'll export it as the same name okay once you've done that now we want to open unreal engine now once we open unreal engine we want to make a new folder right here all this stylized grass then we open this and we will import our stylized grass that we just saved import and then we will make a new material right here. Call this M underscore stylized grass. Now we'll double click and open this material. Once we've done that, we'll press 3 and add a 3 vector in, in here. We will collect this to the emissive color. Down, uh, we'll right click on this and convert to parameter. And then 
Um, now, if you want to make wind, there's two ways you guys can make wind. The so first way is um, we add a sign, then we add a panner. We connect these two together. You can uh, turn up the value in this, something like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then we can connect this to world position offset. Second way we can add wind is we type a uh, symbol grass. So simple grass winds and we can um, add manual values to these three. We can have different values for each or we can have the same value for all of them. I'll do something like 0.3 and I'll show you guys what each of them does. First we will check out this wind. Okay, now we click apply and we minimize this. Now you want to right click on this and create material instance. So now what this does is uh, you guys can just click here and easily change the color whenever you want. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, once you've done that, we want to open our grass up and then drag our material instance on here. We'll open up our main material again and we want to make sure it's two sided and then save. Once we've saved it, we minimize it, we can drag the grass into our scene. And as you guys can see, we have a wind, but it's, uh, it's a very different type of wind. There is another way you guys can use uh, weight paints. I don't actually know how to use those right now. I'm still learning those, so um, if you guys can find out, please do. And use uh, weight paints or um, vertex paints for grass wind. So this is one way you do, and now if you want to change the color of the grass, just open this up. I'll make this smaller. Take this box, and then um, just click here, double click. And now we can just choose any color we want for the grass. A green or... Um, something like this or something blue I'll just choose like an uh, icy blue color after I've done that I'll click OK and then save this then I'll go into my modes I'll just drag and drop this grass right here I'll click on this and turn it up to about 500 then I'll turn this to little town now if I plant the grass it'll plant out nicely so I will show you the difference between the uh, wind types in this after um, it's loaded. Okay. So the reason I chose the uh, MSF color, if you guys notice now, what it does is um, it's just I, don't, uh, I think it's just good for um, stylized grass. The MSF color normally looks pretty good. And then we'll go back to our main material. So instead of using the sign and the pan, we'll disconnect this by pressing Alt, clicking left here. And we'll connect this result into our world position offset and then apply. Okay, so we just have to make sure that we um when we go in here that we delete, uh, we delete the pan and the sign before we connect this or else we will have an error. Okay, after we've done that you guys can see that we have some type of wind on this. But you guys can play around with these settings, turn the value up and down to see how you like the wind or whatever. And you can obviously uh, change the color down here to whatever you guys like. You guys can try a green, dark green or something. And then you have some green um, emissive grass. So you guys can just, uh, instead of using the um, emissive, you guys could use the base color if you guys like it that way. And now I'll go back to Blender and uh, we'll make some level of details for this grass. Then we go back to Blender and we open the file that we saved earlier. Then we right click on this. Go into a modifier, click convert. Now we select the plane from the bottom, just the plane, delete, enter. You can also delete this um, thing on the side as well, the grass strand. Now we'll select one and then press A, double click A, and then uh, Control J to join them all together. Now Control Shift Alt C, Origin 3D cursor. Then we Shift A, add a plane, press R, X, and then type 90, and then enter. Now we've rotated it 90 degrees. Now we take this back, press 1, and we will select this. We will add a material right here. We just want to make sure that the material in the back is different from the material in the front. Right here, I'll add something like, uh, like red. Like dark red, yeah, intensity 4. Then we'll uh, shift A, go to lamp, and add a sun. Once we've added the sun, pick this up, 
move it back on the Y axis and then R, X and then make it focus on the grass. We press 1 to go back to front view on the number pad, shift Z. Now we can see our grass. Now we'll uh, zoom in into this. We move our mouse away, just left click anywhere. Window, save screenshots. We'll call this same name as we called our older file. Only difference is this is a PNG. Save this. Now we'll open GIMP. Once we open GIMP, we'll go to File, Open. We'll find our file that we just saved. Then we'll open this. Then down here in the Crop tool, we'll drag a box around this. Just make sure you cover the whole grass. And just drag it in. So we've done that, you want to press enter. After pressing enter, we'll click on the uh, this tool, select by color. We'll right click on the layer, add alpha channel. Then we select this color. And we press delete. Now we should have just our grass left behind. Yep, this is fine. And now we just want to go to image. Scale image. I'll scale this a lot lower because um, since it's an LOD, no one's going to see up close and I we don't want it to be too big. So I'll do something like, actually I'll do 100. And then scale. And it still doesn't look too bad. So that's it. Then we go to select and none. Then we go to file, export as. I'll give it the same name, but at the end I like to call it alpha. So I know that this has a transparent background. And we'll export. Now, uh, if you guys right here also want to make a normal map for this, so what I'll do for that is, I'll just um, press Ctrl Z, go back to this um, original position, and then um, you guys will have to download the, uh, the the plugin. I'll leave a link in the description with exactly how to do it and um, how to install the plugin. It's really easy. So, and then you want to uh, go into colors after you have the plugin, go to desaturate and then lightness you want to take off any colors from here then we'll go into filters map then we go into normal map and i'll just do a 3d view to show you guys what it looks like so uh, one thing you guys will notice that uh, when you first do the normal map um, this will be inverted so we'll click on invert y sorry invert x and now the normal map is the right way up after this done that, um, we have some, some options here. Normally a uh, full sample works fine, but if you guys want a really really strong um, normal map, you guys can change these values. So if you go for example to uh, 5 times 5 this is a really really strong normal map. But for, for the purpose of this video, I'll just use something like a uh, 4 sample or 3 times 3. I'll just use 4 sample. You press OK and you have a normal map. Now we can file export as and I'll keep uh, I'll delete the alpha now and I'll call this normal. Then we'll just export this. Now back inside Blender, we will move our plane right in the middle. You guys can press 3 on the number pad to align exactly with the blue line. And then press 1 and we'll press S to scale in and then take this up. You can align it with the red line right here and control shift alt c origin tree cursor then s and z scale this up we just want to uh, we just want it to be same height and the same width as the grass we have right here and scale on the x and this is fine and now we'll just delete our grass we'll select this we'll press tab we'll open up a new window right here you can drag it left, you can drag it down. Go into UV Image Editor. Around here, press Unwrap, Unwrap, and then we'll open. And we'll click down here so we can see all of them. We'll open our stylized alpha, PNG. So now we have unwrapped this to this. Now we can just close this, just select here and take it up. Let go. And now we'll do Shift D and then R Z. 90 and then enter now if you go into texture you guys can see that we have our grass right here now we will save this save that 
We'll call this LOD1. Then we'll file export FPX. And we'll export it under the same nail. And now we'll head over to Unreal Engine. Now back inside Unreal Engine, you want to click on import and bring in your alpha texture and your normal map. Once you've done that, we want to right click on our um, texture and create material. Then we open up the material, we drag in our normal map and we make this bigger. We disconnect our texture from the base color and we connect the alpha into opacity mask and the normal into the normal. Then we select this and choose masked and two-sided. Now we want to add a three vector in here and connect this to the emissive color. Now we minimize this and open up our mstylized instance. We'll use the same values from here so we have the same color on our grass. So I'll take down these values 0 0.022 and 0 0.195. I'll enter them right here. 0 0.022 and 0 0.195 and then enter. Now we save this and we should have the same color on this grass as our main grass. So now we want to open up our stylized grass and down here and under um, base LOD you want to choose import LOD level 1. We'll choose our LOD 1. Now we make this smaller and drag in our grass onto this LOD 1. Once you've done that, you want to make this bigger. So now uh, what I normally like to do is um, I like to manually do my uh, LOD distances so I'll dis uh, dis uh, I'll uncheck this down here I'll choose something like 0 0.01 so now if you guys notice something uh, keep your eyes on this on this value when we close up 75 as you move away it goes down to 4 so now you're using a lot less res uh, resources on your um, in your game so which is quite helpful with the um, FPS and stuff now we save this and if we look here now no matter whether we go too close or quite far don't see too much of a difference and now one more tip i can give you guys is um if you guys normally i've noticed in games uh they normally have the same texture so just below the grass they will have the same color texture so when when a player moves away and the grass completely disappears you don't notice too much difference so this is something you guys can also do and i hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching